you've come so far. Hi, my name is Prue, or Prue LaRue, and welcome to my very first collab video. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous too. I feel like I'm on a first date. Like, what if you don't like me? It's pretty stressful. I'm feeling very nervous. Anyway, uh, Nick came up with a really cool idea, and it is to send a picture. And from that picture, take your inspiration for your makeup, or I guess eyeshadow, is what I've gone for. I've just done my base, so, and I haven't looked at the picture yet, and I'm so nervous. I don't even know what, like, she sent to me. She's, like, threatened a lot of sabotage. I hope that she likes the picture I sent. Let me stop rambling, and let's look at the picture. I'm ready, aren't I? I'm ready. I am ready. Like, I am ready. Just looking through my emails. I found the picture. Now is the moment of truth. Oh my god. It hasn't worked. What? Did you just send me a white screen? Oh no way! We've sent... <laughs> We've sent each other very similar pictures. This is hilarious. <laughs> well, we're like doing the same kind of eye looks. So I hope we come up with something really different and interesting for you to watch. Um, I'll put up the picture of what she sent me. And it is some beautiful flowers and I think some lavender in the background. Oh my God, this is so close to the color scheme I sent her. That's so funny. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing a green, red, orange, purple look. I just need to find these shades. So, we need a... Let me just think. Alright, I'm sorry, that took me so long to look through all my colours. Um, I actually can't tell you what many of them are, because I've already forgotten. But I was just watching everything to try and figure out where to go. Now, like I said, I feel like I'm on a first date. I really don't want to disappoint. I want to do the best job ever. So I just spent some serious time looking at all these colors and matching them up. And I've come up with how I'm going to do it. This took so long. <laughs> but let's see if I can pull it off and let's see if that was even worth it. So I'm going to use a lot of different palettes today. I really hope that's okay. We're going really colourful, so I need to get some more powder just underneath my eyes just to fix up any fallout. I feel like there's going to be a lot. I just want like a real, like a really good layer. Alright, so we're going to kick it off. Now, I've been dying to use this one. So, this is my updated Inglot palette. So, let's bring you in a little bit. Not too close because then the camera really struggles to focus. I'm going to set my base. So, I've put the MAC paint pot down and I'm going to set my base with the white shade from my Inglot palette which is 373. This is just going to really help make any of these colours pop. I am leaving the house after this in case you're wondering. So I, I, want, it, I want it to be really good. So I do think it's pretty hilarious that we chose each other's similar colours. I was pretty much kind of expecting sabotage but that kind of shows like why we're friends. We pretty much sent each other the same picture. All right, then we're going in. I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna use 288, which is like, it's a pretty cool green to be honest. So I absolutely love watching Annette and one of the funniest things that I ever found out about her. Well, I mean, is it funny? One of the things that still makes me laugh is that my boyfriend used to be really into poker and he actually used to follow Annette's career. And now that she's into makeup, I follow her. <laughs> so it's really funny. And she's about the only person who if I'm watching, he doesn't get super mad at the TV and doesn't tell me off. So I'm allowed to watch all of Annette's videos. But she is just this like, oh. I could gush all day about that girl. Uh, she has been so sweet and kind and supportive and I'm so grateful that she's giving me a collab like 
I'm not gonna bring anything to her. <laughs> um, no, I'm so grateful that she's given me the opportunity to collab with her and to I'm so happy that she is my first collab I ever do because she actually is like my friend. And I can't wait. I know one day we'll be able to do an in real life collab. Maybe we'll just actually catch up as friends and do friend things. So I am really excited that one day I'll be able to get to meet Annette in person and I'm, I'm so glad that I can watch her videos now. I really enjoy them. She's always got a fresh idea. She, her editing is like bang on. She's very good at not rambling. I'm a, I, I ramble a bit. And she's just all around a nice person. She always gives like, an honest opinion on her makeup and the reviews that she's done and you just can't, you can't fault that really. She's a girl that knows what she wants. So we've got that green down. I feel like it needs a little bit more bang. I'm going to try something this might mean I have to start all over again. No, I love it. I'm so happy. Okay. Sorry, I had to try it before I ruined. So I believe this is one of Annette's favorite palettes. So I thought I might as well try and give it a little, a little usey. As you can see, mine's barely touched. So I'm gonna use Boozle. And this is a shimmer green. And you can see that's just really pop. I'm really sorry, this is gonna be a lot of different Colors, if you do ever want to recreate this, just, you don't need the same stuff. All right, and then we just need something on the outer corner. We're gonna deepen that up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use Inside Job from the Jaclyn Morphe Vault. And I'm just gonna use the same brush. And this is just because I want to stay true to that green. I'm going to change brush. So I'd love to hear what you think. Um, if you're one of my lovely subscribers, please do check out Annette's channel as well. And let me know what you think. If you're one of Annette's lovely subscribers, let me know how long you reckon it will be till she gets monetized. <laughs> or until she hits a thousand. I'm so excited for her when that happens. She really deserves it. And she is just so talented. I mean, I think that's one of the things though that I always worry about with internet friendships though, is that you go, Like, what would happen if we met in real life? I think we would just go get bagels together. I was obsessed when she was in New York on her Instagram and she was always posting her like daily bagel bites. And I was like, oh my God, those bagels look amazing. We do not have good bagels in Australia. Pretty much only Starbucks in Brisbane. I would love to have like a gourmet bagel experience with Annette. It would be, that would be amazing. So I'm going to go back in with 283 and this is just going to try and tie this all together. I just want to mute this down a bit. 283 is going to be like a background color. I mean, I could have changed brushes though. And I would love to go to the US if I, we're planning a big trip to Europe next year, me and my boyfriend, but the next trip after that will definitely be in the US and it will be, Las Vegas, because my boyfriend loves gambling. Inside job's just been a little bit patchy on this side. I'm gonna use this blue from Inglot, and this is 372. And we just need a little bit of that sky action going on over here.
Beautiful. All right, and I can quickly finish that out. Let's use my Benefit Highbrow. This is just a highlighting brow pencil. I like it because it's a bit creamy. And I don't have to think about where I put things, except not to put this finger on my brow. And this is gonna help me just sort of bring down a bit what I've done. I went a bit crazy. Is this finger clean? Oh, good. Alright, so going back in a bit with that 372 colour, I just want it to have a little bit more of a moment over here. Alright, now let's cut the crease! gonna spritz my thing. All right so hopefully I've chosen correctly. Yes. Oh yeah I'm happy with this. All right excellent so I'm gonna go in with Kohler Obsessions and we're gonna use this shadow down here for that orange. So we get a nice orange red effect. I'm going to use the same brush because I'm interested if it makes a difference. Can you even tell it's orange? Not really. Yeah. So I'm going to go in and this one is a limited edition palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Jones. So I just wanted a orange shimmer that would just show up a little bit better. And I'm just doing like a halo effect. I want to go in with, and I thought I'd just give this a little moment. The lavender and so this is elf see i've labeled it myself from enchanted lustre cosmetics which is an australian brand that sells on etsy owner is really nice but it does take like three weeks to get your product which is fine but i'm, I'm like i'm not really used to that life this is why i get annoyed when sephora doesn't have things in stock And then let's just grab a clean blendy blend. Now I'm wondering if this is going to ruin it at all, but I thought let's just bugger it, let's just go straight for it. Vivid Brights in Vivid Blossom. So this is going to hopefully tie in that lavender inner corner for us. Alright, so I, I'm not the best at eyeliner. I try though. Yes, I think I kind of did it. Oh, I'm so excited with myself. All right, so let's get this powder off. And I did get heaps of fallout from those red and orange shimmer shades. So this eye has decided that the green from Inside Job from Jaclyn Hill will be our under eye colour. 
So yeah, let's just continue on with that. Teaspoon! Teaspoon! I feel like this is both one of mine and Annette's favorite colors. She just used it in one of her videos. I'm curious to see if she uses it this time. A little bit lightening underneath the eye and I'm gonna go back to the Inglot shadow in 288 just get a tiny little all right so I'm just gonna quickly finish my face and I'll be back all right so I'm back I'm just gonna quickly run through what's on my face mainly because I forget I've got the cooler sunscreen in SPS 50 because it gets very well, it's, it's nearly summer here Fenty 150. I covered my face with the Hourglass Ambient Shades. I put on the Radiant Bronze Light from Hourglass. My little mini champagne pop highlighter. Deep Throat from NARS as my blush. KKK Contour in Light. Too Faced OG Formula Born This Way in Light for under the eyes. And Light 20 Colourpop for cutting the crease. I covered some pores with the Smashbox Photo Finish. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, on my lips is the Huda Booty Gossip Girl Demi Matte. I have topped it up once just because the butthole was starting to pop through. And I've got Bad Girl Bang as my mascara. But this is one of her favorite products as well. So I thought it'd just be fun to use it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun filming this and I'm so grateful to have Annette in my life and I'm so grateful that she gave me, like, let me clear up with her. I hope you stick around, check out another video, see if you wanna subscribe, if you're new here, if you're one of my OGs, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I appreciate any new viewers. Thank you so much, uh, it means the world to me. I hope you have an amazing day and let me know what you think of this look below. I just wanted to make sure that our first date went well. I really appreciate you sticking around and watching. Make sure to check out Annette's page and subscribe. This is me trying to blink like she does. She's obviously far superior. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time.